Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and we have here 2017 Lexus RX 350 but it should be the same procedure procedure for RX's old RX models and on this vehicle I'm gonna show you how to change your cabin filter uh, that should be done every 10,000 miles and or um, every two oil changes this is the camera filter that we're going to install and the camera filter is behind this glove compartment you open this and you're going to have to use both of your both of your hands or you have to unlock this lock here on the left side first one and then you can do this one here um, and or you can do it with both of your hands and when this goes down you're gonna have to release this shock here um, in order to in order to um, open this glove completely so if you have stuff inside like here obviously all this stuff is gonna go down so or you can just try to drop it I guess on the floor but anyway uh, let me get it let me get my flashlight so this is where this is where your cabin filter is going to be. It's actually right behind here. And you need to open this cap. And you need to open this a secondary cap. And it just has this little clip here on the right side. And obviously always follow this um, and you have to slide it out and follow this up sign here. That's how it's supposed to be mounted. And another one with an up sign again. So this is where the filter stays. And right, right away you can see this thing has some dirt. I'm not sure when the last time this was changed but it's been a while. So this is not what this is supposed to look like. Um, it's supposed to be in a much cleaner shape. Look at the dirt in there. Again, 10,000 miles, guys. And we take the filter out of this um, panel. As you can see, it's, it has the markings of up right here and the arrow. Uh, filter is not bad, but it is it, it is definitely time to be changed. Uh, I'm gonna install the same thing here. Um, this customer actually purchased everything from Lexus. This is this particular number here on this cabin filter, and this is the actual filter. And same way, same designation here, up, up, I'm going to slide it in, again, follow these guides here, these plastic guides, and push down, actually, uh, I see what this thing has. It has a ridge here, so part of this plastic goes through um, one of the slides or one of the um, ridges here, so it's actually properly installed. So follow on this on the bottom, because this plastic here will go through the filter. Uh, it'll go in one of these spaces here, as you can see, right here. So make sure you follow on this so you can install this properly. And same way, we'll pick it up, we install it back in. With the up sign, all the way up. Remember this, 
cover again up on the left side and then kind of click it on the right side then we have the second cover lots of covers it goes up and last thing would be our wall box compartment which you have to follow these guides here in order to install this and Okay, I think this it needs to go a little bit. Yeah, it needs to go down and then it needs to go up and make sure you install this um, shock here. So the way you took it out, the way that's how you're gonna install it. You just click it in and very simple once this is in, all you need to do is just push through. The two, the two locks here and it's ready to go very simple very easy again you're supposed to do this every 10,000 miles so you prevent uh, bacteria and dirt building up in your AC evaporator down in your AC system so that's why you're supposed to do this every 10,000 miles it's a very ignored item and sometimes people don't even know that it actually exists but um, I recommend it always and I always check on customers again every 10,000 miles guys so thanks for watching I hope you enjoy these videos see you in the next one I'm gonna be doing a few other things on this car so stay tuned Please subscribe, please like my videos and see you in the next video. Thank you.